What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Flying Mentor, back with another extraordinary video. Got a little twin otter action happening. What I've been noticing about this area, they're like these skydiving schools that are just literally like popping up and putting in work at the uh, various airports around here. You see off there in the backdrop, we got the crop duster doing work. It's a nice little busy day out here at the airport. Mm -mm, I smell that Jet A from this twin otter right here. Now, this is my first time seeing the otter in person. So I'm a little bit fascinated right now. I would love, 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 love the opportunity to fly this bird right here. Listen to that engine spool. Brakes release and they are going. Oh my gosh, you see that takeoff? It just levitated like, oh my goodness. Dude didn't even rotate. He didn't even rotate. The, the, the airplane literally just hopped up off the ground. Beautiful sunshiny day. Beautiful sunshiny day looking at all these takeoffs and landings. I love this stuff. All right, don't really know if you can see this, but we got two airplanes simultaneously coming to the runway at the same time. We got crop dusting operations happening at the end of this uh, runway. And you've definitely got to be on your P's and Q's. Saw how you just crossed in front of a final like that. A little bit of air tractor action for you. I've always been fascinated by the air tractor. Always been fascinated by this bird. First opportunity I get to actually fly in one, I'm gonna take it. They are definitely doing some uh, serious crop dusting operations out here. Look at them. I mean, the stance on that thing is so mean. I love the smell of that jet A. I love the sound and buzz of that turbine engine. So one crop duster just landed, another one's taken off. So I guess they are double teaming this farm uh, that's really close, uh, in close proximity to the airport. Oh, look at that early right turnout. Crazy early right turnout, right over the FBO, and these guys don't need much altitude to do what they uh, what they do best. Pretty cool day out here at the airport so far. So I'm gonna switch it up, do something a little bit different, and we're gonna take a little tour of my pilot cave. You see Lucy back there, looking all extra beautiful. So. Let's see what I can do with this place. So right now, I've got some stuff moved in here. Stuff for the uh, for the airplane right here. I got a board that I'm gonna use for something. Just don't know what, but I'm using it for something. You see my Luscomoli parking sign. You're not a real true Luscom pilot unless you have your own no parking sign uh, or Luscom uh, only parking sign. So, so I'm thinking couch, refrigerator, TV, you know, something to that effect. You know, I'm kind of wanting to, to do a little, 
little workbench, workbench area. You know, some place to put all the stuff to polish this bird right here because polishing it is crazy. So I want to have like a whole section dedicated to uh, where I would keep the polish. Keep the polish, the materials. Uh, I don't know, man, like maybe cases of oil, you know, on deck, ready for, uh, to put in my airplane. Um, hmm, I don't know, like what, what should the theme be? You know, I don't know what the theme should be. You got all these rugs. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, that's nasty. Alright, so yeah, got some cleaning up to do in here. Need a push broom. Probably some mouse traps up in here as well. So I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. You know what? What you think? You know the theme should be for for the uh, for the pilot cave. Yeah, I'll definitely want this to you know be a functional hangar, but I also want this to be a spot where I could just come and just chill. So I got plenty of space in here. Yeah, let me uh bring it around this way you can see I got I got some pretty decent space I mean the Luscom has a really big wingspan so you know, man, I'm just looking for some ideas hey go by here all right follow me on Instagram posting some uh, interesting uh, stuff to my stories you know some posts regular post you know got some other stuff going on around that way definitely follow me there if you like what you see so far hey go ahead hit that subscribe button right now hit the subscribe button the like button turn on the post notice so I can bump up on this algorithm and keep bringing you this really great aviation content all right so the thing about having your own hangar like it's just so much you could do with it like you know would you hang something from up there you know what what could I possibly hang up there you know I kind of want to do a big giant gigantic American flag what you think about that you know how can I make this space nice and functional as a hangar to you know work on my airplane and do the things that I need to do to my airplanes have my mechanics come through work on the airplane in a, in a nice cool environment and how can we just make this spot just like a little bit more chill just come in here and just lounge and just chill you know invite some guests over you know because this is my home away from home the aerodrome Yeah, so I got these pallets right here. I'm thinking about getting some smaller ones to maybe like fit some, I guess like oil containers, you know, for a possible smoke system in the near future. You know, wink, wink, hint, hint. Um, some things I got going on. And let's see, these rugs have got to go, I mean, just dirty, dingy, nasty rugs have got to go. I'm actually straight with this floor though. I like this floor. Nice clean, clean look. The only thing about the floor is just like just sweeping it <clears throat> and mopping it. I mean, I got the wet vac here, the, you know, nice little shop vac, but uh, it's a whole lot of area to clean. So I'm definitely gonna need a big old push broom. I might have to contract out that work. But I've got so much space, man. Here to here. I mean, it's just a lot of, a lot of space. I could even tuck the uh, airplane back a little bit further if I, if I wanted to, but I like this position right here of the aircraft from the hangar because it just gives me a whole lot of space, like back here, like, 
in this in this little section you know from here to here this gives me a whole lot to work with so i'm liking that i'm feeling i'm feeling that i just don't know what i'm gonna do with it so again hey help me out comment below let me know you know you've seen the dope pilot caves and that's you know what i want that's what i want to turn this one into you know this is my first hanger uh all my own so really excited about it and i want to do something uh really special with the space all right so you saw my blank canvas for my pilot cave can't wait until this whole thing comes together i know it is going to be exceptional it is going to be phenomenal all top level cannot wait to get it done so i might even leverage some interior decorators on this one man because this is real special you know your pilot cave you definitely got to do it big for your pilot cave but however i'm gonna bring this video to a close and I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, turn on the post notifications. And as always, oh, oh, oh yeah, before I forget, stop by www.flyingmentor.org. Okay, I've got some really incredible tools and resources for you on your pilot journey, wherever you are in the stages right so you could be aspiring to become a pilot you know you could already be a pilot looking to uh, get extra additional ratings or you might have everything already you know so it's still a really great place to go chat it up with me and um, <clears throat> just you know get more uh, more tools and, and resources to help you along your way i've got a fantastic book club on this uh on this website flymentor.org i got a really fantastic book club uh, that you should really check out i got some really great recommendations the books that that i've read that i really personally enjoy and that have helped me uh along in in my career thus far so stop by check that out flymentor.org hit me up Facebook, Instagram, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.